understand people are just joking nowadays why the fuck can people just take a joke no I'm serious why the fucking hell people cannot take a fucking joke why you know ever since the Will Smith smacking Chris Rock in the face incident has happened now people are like, oh no, you shouldn't say a joke. You shouldn't say something that's funny. You shouldn't try to be funny. You shouldn't try to you know, say a joke to make someone laugh. Making someone laugh is not a good idea. You idiots have no fucking clue what you're doing to today's society. Now, oh, I can't take a joke. I can't understand when someone's joking. I can't tell when someone's joking. I can't tell when someone's... You know, just trying to bust my balls or just someone who's trying to have fun with me. Yeah, you people have no fucking clue what you're doing to comedians. It's bad that comedians gotta worry about, oh, I gotta try to appeal to woke culture. Oh, I gotta try to appeal to PC culture. Oh, I can't say, you know, those type of jokes we used to say back in the, you know, 80s, fucking early year 2000s, fucking 90s, and now you assholes and I was making it sound like oh we can't joke around we can't joke around like that no more because now because of Will Smith look I I like that Will Smith got his Oscar finally won an Oscar and yeah he's now paying for smacking Chris Rock in the face and also he's been banned for the last the next 10 years yes but yeah some people are like oh no that's not good enough he should get more of a penalty. He should lose his Oscar or he should lose something or or pay a fine or something like that. Like, guys, as much as I respect Will Smith, now, guess what? They're going to be like, oh, that must be a good idea because Will Smith won an Oscar, didn't get kicked out of the Oscars, which, yeah, they were trying to kick Will Smith out of the Oscars. But, oh, guess what? Now I think since he won an Oscar for also for a movie and also smacking the shit out of Chris Rock, now now like oh the bad D people are now going to be rewarded nowadays. Oh oh if I smack someone in the face now I can be rewarded. Oh if someone makes a joke about my wife. Oh oh guess what I can be rewarded now because I just smacked someone in the face and now I'm like oh. I can now be rewarded because now everybody's like, oh, I'm a, this, this is now a good thing. Smacking someone in the face is now a good thing. But now this dumb shit that happened to Dave Chappelle the other night, him being attacked by, I don't know, some guy who just jumped up on stage and attacked him. Like, oh, guess what? I can do that now because now Will Smith made it okay for me to do. Thanks a lot, Will. Oh, almost forgot. Thanks a lot, Jada. This is why no one wants nothing to do with the Smiths anymore. And now because of this, anybody who's a comedian is now like, know it, now we can't joke around with people. Now we can't say our jokes because now we're going to be worried about people jumping on stage and smacking us in the face or just verbally attacking us. You know... I don't even know what Dave Ch Chappelle even was attacked on. What did he say that was that was that led to him being attacked? What the hell led to him being attacked with a guy having a gun and a knife? You know, when the guy literally got stopped by security. But good God, what the fuck is wrong with you people? It's just comedians. 
They're just, they are paid to say a motherfucking joke. Oh, but oh, he, he shouldn't have said that stuff about Will Smith's wife. Well, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Uh, hello, G.I. Jane is about a woman who disguised herself as a man to go in the army and shaves her motherfucking head like so. See my head? Exactly. So what the fuck are you people complaining about? Oh, he shouldn't have made a joke like that. Like, it was a motherfucking joke. It was a motherfucking joke. Now, I guess a couple of weeks later, someone else is gonna get attacked on stage. We already had this other thing where Chris Rock was actually in Boston during the time, and some guy got up on stage and attacked him. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? What the fucking hell is wrong with you people? You know what's not an okay thing to do? Oh, provoking somebody. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, Jada was being provoked by Chris Rock. But it was just a joke, guys. Now, Chris Rock said that to me. Alex, love the outfit, by the way. Oh, I can't wait, wait to see you in Blade, you know, the next Blade movie or something like that. Do you have any idea how many times I've been called Blade on YouTube? And in the past, do you have any idea how many times I've been called Blade? Someone say, hey, you look like Blade. You look like Wesley Snipes Blade half of the time. Like, some of you have said you look like Blade half of the time. You know what? Yeah! I look like Blade! So, do you see me getting up on stage and smacking someone in the face for calling me Blade? No! You don't see me getting on stage because, oh, it's a joke. They should get smacked at. Like, no, it's not cool. Provoking someone when they said when someone says, you know, can you please stop that? Can you please stop that? Can you please stop that? Like that's called provoking somebody. When you provoke someone, you deserve to get punched in the face. Mike Tyson made that official. But when someone says stop it several times and you refuse to stop and you still want to be like, oh, I want to keep on going. I'm, I'm just messing around. Like you want to choose to mess around like a motherfucking dumbass. Be like, oh, I'm just messing around. Just try to relax. Like there's a big difference of joking around, fucking around and provoking somebody. There's a big motherfucking difference. But now, oh, comedians are now, they now have to get extra security. They gotta get extra people to keep people down from trying to attack them. Like, they said, they said a lot, Will and Jada. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Now you made it completely official that now, if you're a comedian, you have every right to be attacked on. On stage, off stage, on the street. You know what? Thanks a lot. And yeah, you just made that one joke from Family Guy where Meg and Chris being attacked by the kids at school and them, well, trying to do their own version of the scene from Kingsman, the first Kingsman. And how they said, we live in a joke, post-joke period. You can't say jokes like, say stuff like that nowadays. Like... So you're trying to tell me I can't say a joke? I can't say a joke about a movie? A joke about the way how someone looks? A joke about the way someone's dressed? Oh no, we can't joke about stuff like that. But you know, I don't really make jokes about people like that. But you can relax. I don't make jokes like that towards people on the streets. I just keep my mouth to my shut and not say shit. Duh. But let me just tell you this. Comedians are paid to pe- 
you know what? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just sick and tired of repeating myself because I'm sick and tired of saying this. It was just a joke, people. And I know you were saying, well, did you support what Will Smith did? Look, that video I made about Will Smith smacking Chris Rock, that was a joke. I don't support what Will Smith did because it was just a joke. And you, why do you think I said, oh, shit. Like, the lesson I said, don't talk shit about Will Smith's wife. All right. What I should have said was... Don't make a joke about Will Smith's wife. Can you all relax? I don't support Will Smith and what he did to Chris Rock. And I don't support what's going on with comedians nowadays. Because, God, they're paid to make people laugh. What, you want cartoons to make people laugh? Oh, a cartoon should make me laugh, but a person, actual person shouldn't? Oh, South Park? Oh, guess what? South Park gets to do all that, you know, offensive shit. But, oh, do we cancel them? Do they wind up getting canceled? No! Good God. And now everybody's like, oh, comedians got it bad now because they got to worry about people getting up on stage and attacking them. But guess what, people? This is the time we're living in nowadays. We're now in a post-joke period. And we got Will Smith to thank for that. Will Smith and Jada Pinkin Smith to think of that. So thank you guys, you killed comedy. Thanks a lot. Vertical Spy, outro. Yo, Steve Bloom here, voice of Spike Spiegel. Remember to subscribe and get vertical.